Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest upcoming videos. Today's topic is on history of microbiology. Friends, microbiology is nothing but a record of past events, inventions and discoveries. So let's start with history of microbiology. Let's see details about Antony van Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723. Antony van Leeuwenhoek is known as father of microbiology. Now Louis Pasteur is also widely regarded as father of microbiology as he is one of the three main founders of bacteriology together with Cohen and Robert Koch. So Louis Pasteur is also widely regarded as father of microbiology. Now let's see details about Antony van Leeuwenhoek. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was from Delft, Holland. Antony van Leeuwenhoek had a hobby of grinding lenses and observing diverse materials through them. In his lifetime, he made 419 lenses and 247 complete microscopes. He made simple magnifying glasses with magnifying power of 42 to 270 times. So, Antony van Leeuwenhoek had a hobby of grinding lenses and observing different types of materials through these lenses. In his lifespan, he made 419 lenses and 247 complete microscopes. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was the first person who reported accurate descriptions of various types of bacteria to Royal Society of London. On 7 September 1674, he described them as very little animal cues, which we know them as protozoa. On 16 June 1675, he described these very little animal cues are of different shapes, sizes and their motility. So, on 16 June 1675, he described that the animal cues which, we have, which he have reported to the Royal Society of London have different shapes, sizes and have different patterns of motility. Antony van Leeuwenhoek first described bacteria on 9th October 1676 to Henry Oldenburg, Secretary of Royal Society, London. In 1683, he described three shapes of bacteria that are rod, spherical and spiral shape. And in 1723, he died. Let's see details about Louis Pasteur, 1822 to 1895. Louis Pasteur is widely regarded as father of microbiology as he was one of the three persons who laid the foundation of bacteriology. Now, Louis Pasteur was a French chemist, biologist and a microbiologist. He was a trained chemist and the studies on fermentation increased his interest in microorganism. So, Louis Pasteur was a chemist and he was carrying out various studies on fermentation. When he came to know that fermentation is result of a microbial activity, that thing increased his interest in microorganisms. He found out that fermentation is a result of microbial activity and different fermentation procedures are carried out by different microorganisms. The basic principles and techniques in microbiology were evolved by Pasteur. In 1856 to 1857, he solved the contamination problem in wine and beer industry in France. He developed the pasteurization technique. He used this technique in, for heating of fruit juice. Pasteurization technique is used in fermentation industry for removal of unwanted microbes. Now, when Louis Pasteur was solving the problem of wine and beer industry in France, 
Now this industry was facing a problem of sour wine. He studied uh, he studied various methods and processes that were involved in this wine and beer manufacture. He found out that fermentation of this fruit juice result in alcohol was completely carried out by a microbial activity and by examining different batches of fermentation he came to know that a good product giving batches contains one type of microbe and that is yeast while the poor product giving batches contain another type of microbe now during his microscopic observation of the spoiled wine he found out presence of large rod and cocci shape rod and cocci shape bacteria instead of oval shape yeast so then he suggested that proper selection of microbe for carrying out this fermentation pro, uh, fermentation procedure is very important for getting a good product so the undesirable microbe should be removed by heating this fruit juice so then he carried out this process of pasteurization and nowadays this process is used widely used in fermentation industries as well as in dairy industry see nowadays this pasteurization technique is widely used in dairy industry now during his fermentation studies he discovered some facts fermentation is a result of microbial activity the microorganism used in fermentation may be bacteria or yeast so fermentation can be carried out by any type of microorganism that microorganism may be a bacteria or a yeast in each fermentation a selective microorganism and specific conditions are required for obtaining desired product now during studies on butyric acid fermentation he discovered an aerobic bacteria so when he was carrying out studies on butyric acid fermentation he discovered an aerobic bacteria he discovered the principle of active immunization and in 1981 louis pasteur prepared a vaccine to prevent foul cholera anthrax and rabies now let's see details about robert koch 1843 to 1910 now robert koch was a german bacteriologist he isolated causative agents that are responsible for causing diseases such as anthrax tuberculosis and cholera for anthrax he isolated bacillus anthracis in 1876 for tuberculosis he isolated mycobacterium tuberculosis in 1882 for cholera he isolated vibrio cholera in 1883 further robert koch invented streak plate technique he introduced use of gelatin as a solidifying agent in nutrient media and he introduced staining techniques robert koch provided a rigid criteria or we can say approved guidelines to identify the causative agents of various infectious diseases now this criteria is known as koch postulates now let's see the koch postulates the microorganisms that is responsible for the disease should be constantly present or found in the legions of disease so uh, the microorganism which we are considering as the causative agent of any kind of a disease that microorganisms should be continuously or constantly present in the legions of the disease pure culture of organism can be isolated from that legions of disease so from that legion of a disease we should be able to isolate pure culture of that causative agent or that organism inoculation of the pure culture in suitable laboratory animal or experimental animal should reproduce the same disease so once we have uh, isolated a pure culture from that legion of a disease okay after isolating this pure culture when we re inoculate this pure culture in a laboratory animal or a experimental animal that culture should reproduce the same disease in that animal
it should be possible to reisolate the pure culture from that inoculated animal now once we have inoculated that animal then further we should be able to isolate pure culture from that inoculated animal in 1877 robert koch and cohen independently described sporulation germination of bacterial endospore and their thermal resistance and appearance let's see some important discoveries and inventions in 1908 ellerman and bank first described the possibility that virus infection could lead to malignancy in 1915 twerk and in 1917 the hurley independently discovered a lytic phenomena in bacterial cultures further they described the agents responsible for this lytic phenomena were viruses and termed them as bacteriophages that is virus that attack bacteria in 1980 von behring and kitty sato described a specific humoral factor called as antibody in 1883 metinkoff discovered the phenomena of phagocytosis in 1929 Fleming accidentally discovered the fungus penicillium. Now penicillium produces a substance that destroys Staphylococcus. Now in beginning of 20th century it was proved that diseases are caused by bacteria but the presence of ultra microscopic microbes were proved by Ivanovsky in 1892 further in 1898 bejering confirmed his findings and told this ultra microscopic microbes as viruses in 1796 a british physician edward jenner invented vaccine for smallpox and smallpox vaccine reached india in 1802 paul ehrlich in 1854 to 1915 was one of the earliest pioneers in the field of antimicrobial chemotherapy in 1934 ernest ruska developed the electron microscope next carl landsteiner discovered human blood group so this was all about history of microbiology if you liked my video Please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching